Hi, I'm Charles. I'm the CEO at Irvi. Today, I want to tell you about a system that we've developed for the last three years with a few of the world's largest e-commerce companies. It offers a completely 100% green way to do last mile delivery with significantly lower traffic impact on cities, easy to adopt at scale, and it's cheaper than the cost of gas. You know, delivery is a really important problem that has to be solved for uh, both companies and cities alike because the volume of deliveries is expanding so rapidly. There were 70 billion packages delivered last year outside of China. That rate has been growing 10% a year, and that was before COVID. Not, on, not only is this a problem for just meeting the actual capacity and demand, but we also have to deal with the impact it has on cities. The volume of trucks that are on our streets creates pollution, noise, and congestion. This has gone from an important problem to an absolutely must-solve problem for many, many cities. You know, especially in Europe, one of the solutions people are trying are cargo bikes. You know, cargo bikes are very promising, but they tend to be relatively small scale. And for an infrastructure, for a logistics infrastructure that's built globally on having packages that can be loaded into a truck and shipped around all day in relatively large quantities, batched into large groups in order to achieve a lower cost, it can be very difficult to integrate a, uh, a bike system like this into that kind of flow. Some people have tried to solve this by adding uh, extra types of systems like hand carts or containers or, uh, um, or, or trailers, but these tend to have very similar problems, right? On the one hand, it's great for emissions and better for costs, but on the other hand, Bikes can be very hard to deploy. They don't integrate well into the existing logistics uh, pipeline. They have limited range. They offer relatively small capacity, and they're pretty unreliable as it relates to using a professional-grade, commercial-grade truck or other vehicle. Irby's solution has been designed to build on many of the same concepts as a bike system, but in fact, we're able to leverage the same infrastructure, but we've addressed many of the shortcomings. The way we do that is through a new paradigm, a new approach to delivery that we call zone-based delivery, which is really built on four key technologies. Number one is we have commercial grade, small electric vehicles that are designed to work inside of a single neighborhood. So they can't go between neighborhoods, but they just stay within the delivery zone and uh, because of that, they're able to be much cheaper and low and less uh, energy, uh, but they also can be built to be commercial grade and durable. In order to move packages efficiently between these neighborhoods, we introduce the concept of micro containers. Micro containers are small containers that bring the same benefits of large shipping containers that are used for shipping internationally, but applied to the last mile. You can use them especially in order to pack packages in the backs of uh, micro fulfillment centers, maybe in the back of retail, but also in order to efficiently move packages between delivery zones using mid-mile solutions. And then tying all of that together is a software platform that's designed to work specifically with this platform. It's container aware and it's integrated directly into the small electric vehicles, which makes the system extremely efficient and easy to integrate into existing solutions. Let me give you an idea of how this works in practice. So the first delivery zone that Irby set up was in downtown New York in Manhattan. We have our small commercial grade electric vehicles deployed at several locations throughout the city. Now these vehicles, they look like bikes, but they're really not. They're uh, very high performance, very durable, um, very safe and reliable bike lane compatible equipment that can carry 800 pounds of cargo which means that they can more or less directly one-for-one one replace a van or a truck. We make these available as a fully managed option, so it's easy for anybody who wants to make deliveries in this delivery zone to simply pick up this equipment and start using it or work with a partner that we of ours in order to make deliveries on top of this equipment. To deliver with these uh, small electrics, we introduce micro containers. Now, you can see a few examples of these containers here. The benefit of these containers is that they eliminate almost all of the time that would normally need to be spent in order to move packages 
between different vehicles when you go from zone to zone. This is the main reason why most people use trucks today because the most efficient way to make a delivery is to load up a truck in the morning and spend eight hours on the road so you achieve the maximum deliveries per hour and minimum amount of stem time. But in this case, because we're able to use containers, we can really efficiently transition between multiple vehicles and we actually are able to eliminate, minimize overall stem time while still maximizing the actual deliveries per hour. This kind of equipment can be adapted to many different types of cargo. It's foldable, we can fit about 25 into a parking spot, and it's very secure. And because it's secure, it actually leads oftentimes to lower concession rates, fewer packages that are lost, damaged, or stolen, even though you can pack them anywhere and drop them anywhere, including in the, out of the back of a retail store or maybe a local distribution hub. Now, if you do need to pack your containers in a different distribution hub, the way you move those packages, those containers into the local delivery zone is through a mid-mile solution. These are basically trucks, large trucks that can take as many containers as possible. We like to set up lines that will run between the different delivery zones and then we can um, commingle as much of the pack, as many containers from as many different customers as possible to get the price of that mid-mile delivery per package down as low as possible. Eventually, we expect most mid-mile solutions to be all electric. In cases where that's not possible, you can use a gas fan. And so even then, that's not 100% electric. It still is a much better solution because the majority of your time spent delivering will be done using our small electric vehicles, and you only spend a very small amount of time on gas. When these trucks come into the city, they can, be, they can spend just a few minutes in the city and then leave. So if you're talking about a, a, a region that has congestion pricing, um, or if you're talking about a region where maybe just getting traffic trucks into the city is extremely difficult, having that very short time spent there can really make a huge difference in both cost and uh, total throughput that's possible. Finally, tying all of this together is our software platform. And as I mentioned before, we're able to take this software platform and use it to coordinate all of the different services that we have between, um, between the bikes, the containers, the mid-mile solution, all the way back to the actual uh, uh, sorting and packaging where the containers are actually filled. We're able to, because we're container aware, we can provide total transparency for package status going all the way through this, and we provide an API that integrates this so it can feather directly into your existing logistics platform. The other advantage of this system is that merchants who actually want to make green deliveries can have a way now that they can send all of their packages to one place and get access to green delivery automatically. One thing we hear frequently from merchants is that they would love to do more and more of their deliveries green, but because green's platforms like Irby are not yet very widely deployed, it's too difficult for them to slice out just the packages that they can do green and then have to somehow arrange to get those shipped separately from the rest of their packages. Because of the way our system works, a, a merchant can instead partner with one of our partners and send all of their packages to a local distribution hub. In this case, maybe you can send all of the packages that go to the New York metro region. Those packages can get, then get split out. The ones that can be delivered with Irby will be packed into containers and done in a green way. Those that can't can go out the traditional way. Now the advantage of this for the merchant is that it's a very small change from the way that they already operate. They basically just send their packages to a different location. It's the same cost, but now they get a report every quarter showing how much CO2 savings they have, and as the Irby deployments increase, their uh, deliveries will automatically get greener, which is a really huge benefit if you're wanting to show this to your customers and demonstrate, or if you have carbon targets that you're trying to hit, because it's easy to adopt and it just automatically works. Now, earlier this year, we launched a, a, a deployment with a partner of ours called Axel Hire, and they were kind enough to share some of the details of how this operation worked with them. And we think it's a really great example of how a local-based, local zone-based delivery mechanism like Irby can work and the kind of impact that it can have on your operations. So let me show you how it actually operated. This is the distribution hub for Axel Hire that's based in uh, Brooklyn. 
Normally what they would do here is put all of their packages onto pallets and load those into trucks. With Irby, they simply take those same packages and they pack them into containers. They found that loading containers, by the way, was quite a bit more efficient than having to build out pallets. Later, when the truck shows up, they simply roll those containers into the truck. This also is a lot more efficient. A truck that might have taken 45 minutes to load as a pallet can now be loaded with containers in about six. Finally, those containers are driven into Manhattan. They're dropped off. It's again about a 15 minute stop and then the truck can leave. And then our local delivery providers and our local delivery vehicles are used to actually make those deliveries with the containers during the day. All of this is tracked through our software platform and through Axel Hire's software platform. Uh, and we're able to integrate both our services and theirs in order to make sure that we're efficiently planning the route and tracking it all the way through to execution. So what kind of impact did this have? Well, we were able to show two times faster sorting time, meaning it, it took them significantly less time to sort packages into our containers than to make pallets. We had four and a half times faster loading time, meaning they were able to get more trucks through the same number of docks than uh, they could before. There are, of course, no parking tickets, very limited impact on traffic, and we were still able to achieve a very high DPH for them. All put together, the impact on this means that for every 3,000 packages from Axel Hire that goes through Irby per day, it can, say, it can mean a savings of up to almost a million dollars per year while taking 10 to 20 trucks and cars off the road. It frees up 50 parking spots and will reduce their CO2 emissions by 80 metric tons. This is pretty significant impact when you consider it's only 3,000 packages a day. And New York City sends 2.5 million packages per day. And there are 60 to 70 billion packages moved every year globally outside of China. And uh, you just add that up, it just looks like a really phenomenal amount of impact. We're talking thousands of trucks that we could take off the road in New York City, thousands or hundreds and th hundreds of parking spots that we could free up, not to mention the incredible cost savings and efficiencies. So Axel Hire really liked this solution. Uh, Troy was kind enough to give us a sense of how they felt about it. They tried a lot of different pilots and Irby was the only solution that provided all the pieces of the puzzle to really solve this problem at a completely, in a completely turnkey way. And that's what we think is really important about the way the Irby system works. It's not just about introducing a new type of vehicle, but it's also about introducing a new paradigm to last mile delivery that, and all of the related infrastructure that you need to do that at scale so that you can actually get green delivery at scale uh, in, a, in a format that's easy to adopt and cheaper than the cost of gas. And that's the Irby Micro Delivery System. If you'd like to get in touch with us and talk a little bit more about it, we're deploying today and growing rapidly inside the U.S. and we'll be coming to Europe next year. We'd love to have a chat with you about it. Thank you.